Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an unreal process has crashed UE Hemingway. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to try DirectX 11 while launching the game. So go to Steam when you click on play on the game. Here you can say play using DirectX 11 if crashing with DX12. So you can select this option and then click on play and then check. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now open the windows folder. Now over here you can see the game exe file. Make a double click over here and try launching the game from the game exe file. If that does not work, open this Hemingway folder and then binaries win64 and then you can even use this exe file to launch the game. So make a double click and launch the game from here. Still not working, then go back and make a right click on this exe file, select properties, and then go to the second tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on okay, make a double click, launch the game. Still not working, go to properties once again. This time select, put a check over here, select windows eight, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, still not working, then select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. You can even try this exe file. Now, still not working, open Hemingway folder, binaries, Win64, do the same thing with this exe file, make a right click, select properties and then go to the second tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, again go to properties, do the same thing, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, still not working, select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, go back and do the same thing with the first exe file. Make a right click, select properties, and you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK. Now follow the next step. Now the next step is to now, if you're using any third-party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows Security, then open Windows Settings, go to Privacy and Security in case of Windows 11, in case of Windows 10, click on Update and Security. Now, click on Windows Security. Now, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down, at the end, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection, click on it. Now, click on Allow an App Through Control Folder Access click on yes to allow, then click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder, common folder. Open the game folder, Windows, select this exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. Select this exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. Now open this folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open. Once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings in the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse and again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. And then once you open the game folder, Windows, select this exe file, click on open, now click on add. In my case, this it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then select this exe file, click on open, click on add. Again, click on allow another app, browse, open this folder, binaries, Win64, select this exe file, click on open, now click on add. Now once the game is added over here. Now you can click on OK and then you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to 
perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now, once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once you run, run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card. Make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows set box, go to graphic settings. Now click on browse over here. Go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Steam, Steam apps, open the common folder, open the game folder. Windows, select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Again, click on browse, and this time open Hemingway binaries, Win64, select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify the game file. Do not ignore this. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Now once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important, so open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, now restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Windows 11 users just type in W-I-N-V-E-R or Windows 10 users type in WinWare in search box. And for Windows 11 users, make sure your Windows is updated to version 2.3 H2. And for Windows 10, it's 2.2 H2. Make sure that you have the latest Windows and then you can launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch options. So for this, you can go to Steam make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, go to general tab and in the launch option, you can type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work, then you can type in dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working. In that case, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to Install Visual C++ file for this. Copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and x64. So download both the exe files. So click on x86 and then run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. I have already installed it, so it's telling me to restart my computer. Now download x64 file as well. Now, once the download is complete, run this exe file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed both the files. It's telling me to restart. So restart option will be there once it is installed. So click on restart. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. Sometimes we have extra controller connected or USB dongle connected, disconnected. If you have multiple monitors set up, try launching the game on single monitor, disable overlay. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, 
now go to general tab now if the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on you can turn this off and then launch the game also you can turn off overlay in discord turn off overlay in geforce experience or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it also if you have any kind of third party services or application running close it close all your browsers and third party application also if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on okay and over here uh it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 1024 1024 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 491524 now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay okay now restart computer make sure that you restart the computer after this now the next step is to now if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings so if you are able to launch the game you can you can try this if you are not able to launch this launch the game you can skip this step so once you launch the game you can go to options and then go to settings and then go to video now over here if resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p uh if the screen mode is like you can even lower it if you want to lower down more you can lower down but you can try 1920 to 1080p and for screen mode now if this is set to borderless or full screen you can try window mode now if the global quality is set to maximum you can set it to high you can even go for medium and then try to lower down graphics settings now over here if the vsync is on you can turn it off and then check and then apply the settings and then click on save and then you can check the performance now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to uninstall the game you can just make a right click on the game manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the 
game installation folder and delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive now if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel